Hello, hello everyone. This is Dane. Welcome back to the channel. This is Filipino Nurse Retire's Home. And please comment, share, and subscribe. And I thank you for all your participation to the channel. And I know it takes time sometimes to make comments, but I really enjoy that. And I just um, did some response for about two hours straight for 50 people there. So it was nice. And I told my husband, if this is gonna get you know, get more and more the comments and everything. I'm gonna tell him to help me out with the response and everything. See, he's kind of enjoying and very excited for me actually with the channel because it's slowly going up. So that is good. But otherwise guys, we're gonna talk about retirement visa. I'm only gonna talk about two kinds of visa, 13A visa as well as the SRRV visa. Why I choose this? Because I'm going to tell you our plans for the future, for our retirement. We're going to go back to the Philippines uh, 2022, hopefully. Now I need a visa for my husband. So we're try trying to check which one um, of the two I'm going to check. I'm going to prefer. Now, my daughter and I have dual citizenship already so we do not need any visa we are basically filipino citizen all we need is a passport maybe or the dual citizenship certification that's all what we need and they would let us stay forever in the philippines now we're basically filipino citizens now with my husband it's another story he needs a visa and i don't want him to have a visa that requires for him to go back and forth to the immigration and have it um, renewed. So I want a little stable visa. So 13A visa is what I was thinking at first, okay? 13A visa is a visa that is intended to spouses married to Filipino citizen and they will allow the spouse to stay in the Philippines for one whole year without having to visit the immigration to renew. Now, this is probationary period. Now, he's allowed to renew it every year for the next three years, provided he will be a good citizen. No crime, nothing like that, or an ass against Filipinos and against the government. So you're gonna be deported if um, you're gonna do all those things. Now, the, the fee is only $150. Now, I'm not gonna go in detail all the requirements because it will take forever. So I'm gonna put a link in my description box and check on that so that you will be more specific as far as requirements as well as the benefits and what it exactly is because I will miss some stuff and um, because I already have missed a lot of stuff in the dual citizenship after reviewing it. So just go to the Philippine immigration consulate and so on and so forth in your designated areas. Now. We'll have application forms filled out and requirements to follow in this 13A visa. Um, and I think we have to use uh, Washington DC um, address to fill out all the applications. So we're gonna start maybe this, uh, this within this month. Um, requirements are not that bad and they're really can understandable why they require it. Another one is the SRRV visa. This is actually a permanent visa for retirees. This is offered to the foreigners who is coming from the countries that has reciprocity agreement with the Philippine government. There's about 82 of them. I'm pretty sure United States, UK, Australia, and a lot more countries are included in that 82 countries. Um, so they're offered this kind of visa, permanent visa. Now, um, this is offered uh, to retirees at least 50 years old and above. And they have to have a pension or retirement funds 
uh, amounting to $800 a month. Not very bad at all. For single and for a couple, $1,000 a month. Upfront application fee is $1,400. Okay, that's upfront fee. Now, if you have this pension coming to you, you have to have proof on that. And those are stated in the requirement and I'm going to let you find it out later on, okay? Now, if you have this pension coming to you, the government will require from you to deposit in uh, the Philippine bank that is accredited, uh, the amount is $10,000. That's the upfront um, requirement deposit, which is a time deposit. Now, not all um, foreigners are 50 and above, and not all foreigners that's 50 and above has pension of 800 or $1,000 a month. So for this reason, they still would have to pay $1,400 for application, but they are required to deposit, time deposit, 20,000 into the Philippine accredited bank. Now, there's a lot of benefits that comes with this. It's more stable kind of visa. The benefits of this are really nice. Number one, multiple entry. You can go back and forth into the country and out. No exit clearance, no re-entry permits, your travel tax provided you stay in the Philippines for less than one year, you are accepted. However, after a year, more than a year, then you're going to pay for travel tax. It's only about $20 anyway. Every Filipino, don't complain because every Filipino has to pay for that whenever they exit out of the country. And you can convert this deposit that I was talking about, the $10,000 or the $20,000. You can convert this and make a um, purchase on a condo. You can use that for townhouse or long-term lease. So this time you can probably lease, lease a farm for 25 years. And uh, anyhow, guys, um, there's another one is tax-free on interest on foreign currency deposit and payable to the retiree in peso. Guaranteed rep repatriation of the required deposit, including invested profits, cap gains, and dividends accrued from investment upon compliance of the central bank rules and regulation so it's gonna be given back to you if you decide to get out of the country that's what it meant and as i have said all details that i left out my goodness check all right check and research for that so there's a bunch of um requirements that you have to comply now since we're talking about the banks that are accredited there's a lot of recommended ones Number one, I would use BPI, and I think the down payment on that to, to, um, to start is about $500. BDO, $600. Metro Bank, Met Metropolitan Bank, PNB, that's Philippine National Bank, Security Bank. Um, BPI, I already mentioned that to you. Now, there is one bank that is HSBC. That's recommended by my sister, but it is a little bit more to open that. So prepare at least 100, uh, about $1,000 to open, um, to open. But HSBC would probably require you about 100,000 pesos. That's equivalent to $2,000. But the bank has better uh, customer service because they would, they uh, said they would not, let you fall in line and like the other banks that you have to fall in line. Now, what I would suggest to you guys, when you make your vacation and you're just deciding to go and retire in the Philippines, you get your wife to apply for a bank. 
um, so that it's easy for you to transfer money back and forth, by the way. Because before you open a bank there, especially if you're coming from the foreign country, they will oblige for you to show your um, copy of your IRS, the current one, the W-2, because that is the requirement of the um, American, American government, I think, to prevent money laundering. So um, you have to prepare all that before you go back to the Philippines so that you will not be sorry. And it takes time to apply in a bank in the Philippines, maybe about a day sometimes to just get all those requirements. So for easier um, application, I advise for you to call those particular banks and ask for them the requirements for you to be able to get started with your application rather than go there and apply and you're going to be crying, you know, because you did not prepare and you cannot open an account easily. So be proactive with everything you do before you retire in the Philippines. Now, it seems like, um, again, it seems like overwhelming, but you can do it. A lot of people have done it already. Now, now to summarize, before I get too far, I probably would re prefer that we're going to get 13A visa for now for my husband. And then later on, maybe if he really likes it there, then he can apply for the SRRV so that it will be more stable. So, and it costs a little bit of money to get started. 150 for a 13A visa. So that's more, I think that suits our need for now. So till later. So guys, anyway, I hope it helped a little bit, but do not forget to check on the link in the description box. Thank you and I hope I help you a little bit. Bye-bye. Yeah.